Right guys, welcome to On The Bench LFC. I've got an update video regarding Thomas Lamar and Monaco with the Liverpool bid earlier on today. So stay tuned and I'll fill you in. Right guys, obviously it's a late one. I put out a video earlier today talking about Thomas Lamar joining Liverpool and that Liverpool FC have put in a bid for Thomas Lamar. Obviously that was earlier on today and I've got to do this update video because there's been some developments and as I promise you subscribers, I will always keep you updated. So here it goes guys, if I quickly read this out for you guys, this is the statement that's been released on Sky Sports. We understand Monaco have rejected two bids from Liverpool for Thomas Lamar. The latest bid was around 64.8 million, which is 70 million euros, and Monaco want them to stay at the club beyond this transfer window. So there it is guys, that was updated at just before nine o'clock tonight. So that's the latest for Thomas Lamar. That says that Liverpool have gone in with two bids, which obviously we wasn't aware of earlier. We was aware of one bid that had gone in, and that was around 55 million. And we were happy with that. Well, the fact that Liverpool have gone in with two bids for Thomas Lamar is a good sign for me. It means that Liverpool actually do want to buy this player, and it's not just a name that's been thrown out in the media to try and make the Liverpool fans happy, like we've fought in the past with some of the transfer names that were linked. It's a difficult one, guys. Obviously, Monaco told Arsenal, apparently, that that deal wouldn't happen, that they want to keep Lamar. But then when they're selling all their other players, it makes it really hard for me to believe that they wouldn't sell Lamar. I don't see why they would sell everyone and keep Lamar. I think they're just playing hardball, guys. I think they're just literally trying to drag this one out to get as much money as possible. They know that Liverpool have got money in the bank because of everything that's been going around and about the players that have been linked with Liverpool. But with Liverpool now signing Naby Keita next window, then obviously that gives Liverpool something where they can say, look, We've already made a transfer record signing this transfer window, even though it's not going to be until next year, but at least they can say we've had to invest money in that. Um, Philip Coutinho staying at Liverpool, a lot of people are starting to say that the owners all along wanted to sell Philip Coutinho, but they're holding out to the end of the transfer window so that the teams that Liverpool are trying to buy players from don't try and, t try and get even more money off of us because we've then got the money of Coutinho. Obviously, that's going on with Barcelona at the moment. Everyone's well aware that they've got the Neymar money. So a lot of teams are playing hardball and trying to get an extra 10 million now, an extra 20 million. So we don't really want that to happen at Liverpool. So I don't know. I said in my last video on the Coutinho thing that Coutinho is probably staying, and I stand by that. He probably is now because there is a lot of things that are pointing to Coutinho staying in this transfer window but then he'll move on next year. So, so yeah, this bid for Lamar um, isn't a replacement. Monaco have rejected two bids, so that's something that, even though it's a good sign, it's, it's not the best sign, because obviously the best sign would be Monaco accept a bid off Liverpool for Thomas Lamar. That would be fantastic if that actually was to happen, but I reckon by tomorrow evening, if we, if we haven't seen anything about Thomas Lamar and Liverpool again, then I think Liverpool have backed out of that deal. Who do we go for instead of Lamar? I don't know. Liverpool have been very good at keeping things behind closed doors since all that shit went down with Virgil van Dijk. There's obviously nothing new on that one at the moment, but, but we don't really know Liverpool's full transfer targets. There's obviously names that have been linked with us quite a lot this transfer window. Naby Keita was one of them and now Liverpool have got a deal agreed for him. So that's all good and it's a good sign that Liverpool are strong enough to be able to negotiate deals that aren't just obviously in this transfer window. They're like, the fact that Liverpool have signed Naby Keita but we're not getting until next year, that's a good sign that at least Liverpool are being clever about the future as well. Oxford Chamberlain, I had obviously said in the video that I released earlier as well, Chelsea had gone in and Arsenal have accepted a bid from Chelsea for Oxford Chamberlain. It, would, it is good news for Liverpool that Chamberlain is available, but if Liverpool have bid twice for Thomas Lamar now, we don't know the gap between both them bids. One could have been at the beginning of the transfer window and then one now. Um, that might have something to do with the Oxford Chamberlain move. It could be that Liverpool are aware that Chamberlain's going to Chelsea, which is why now they've gone back in with the second bid for Lamar. I, I'm hoping that's not the case, guys. I'm hoping that Lamar and, and Chamberlain deals were two separate things and that Liverpool were in for both of them. I don't know whether there, there would be anything to do with that, but obviously the fact that two bids have been rejected 
now we could see Liverpool push up on Oxlade Chamberlain, but we don't know what's been said behind closed doors, guys. But like I said to you guys before, as soon as I see anything across all the media that looks like it's gathering momentum, I will let you guys know. I know that a couple of you guys are asking whether some of the things that I talk about is a guaranteed. Guys, it's not guaranteed until you see that player in the Liverpool kit, signing the contract, you know the pictures that I'm on about. Until we see that on the players, guys, then it's not a done deal. We've had players in the past that have had a medical and it still hasn't gone through. So what I tell you guys is just media and media speculation. And I'll just let you guys know I do the dirty work for you. I go around different media sources and gather all the information. And then I bring it to this channel and I let you guys know. Um, yeah, that's all I can do on that one, guys. I wish I had inside information. I wish I knew more facts that I could tell you guys. But the truth of it is I don't. I'm only telling you what I read and what I see, and then I'll just give you my opinion whether I think it's bullshit or whether it's true. Like this Lamar situation, I think it is true that we've gone in with two bids, but my opinion is that maybe we've gone back in with a second bid for Lamar because Chamberlain is moving to Chelsea. That's my views on it. It's not evidential, but it's my views. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, guys, hit the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up on the video, guys, as always. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm out.